What's up, everybody? This is Dad to bring you guys another video. I'm here to bring you guys some more information on three topics, in fact, but the first one has to do with Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster, which to me is the greatest Call of Duty of all time, as well as uh, this new Call of Duty supposed to be called uh, Infinite Warfare that's supposed to be taking place in space. <laughs> it is what it is. They're running out of ideas. Anyway, uh, the Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare Remaster uh, will include uh, the campaign itself and 10 multiplayer maps. And um, no doubt it's coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Actually, you can check for yourself here. That's where this page here is. And uh, Infinite Warfare, November 4, 2016. I mean, is this getting so real now? I mean, every COD fan now is... I mean, this one series that we know that's constantly getting leaked and, and actually most of the time is accurate. It's got to be Call of Duty. These COD fans are just thirsty for the next COD next year. But uh, <laughs> I can't wait to see uh, Fatal Mephisto Rage for Call of Duty. I can't wait to see One Stop for Gamers Rage for Call of Duty. I can't wait to see all the COD fans buy Call of Duty by will. And this is indeed true. You better believe I will be paying for Call of Duty for Modern Warfare Remaster. But speaking of Remaster, did you know that next year, not this year, but next year, 2017, is COD 4's 10th anniversary? <gasps> That's right! COD 4's 10th anniversary. Let me give you a background on my history of Call of Duty before we can get to uh, more information about Call of Duty and other topics. First of all, I, the first Call of Duty I played was Call of Duty uh, the original. First Call of Duty back in 2003, the very first Call of Duty. I remember playing it like in December of that <coughs> year. Very interesting uh, game, very difficult and hardest difficulty, but totally different in, in the way to compare it today. It was all World War II based up to roughly Modern Warfare, that's when we start getting the aspect of Modern Warfare, you know what I'm saying? Basically taking events of real life, you know what I'm saying? It's things like uh, Midi, Middle sorry, Middle East sanctions and uh, Iraq wars and, and Afghanistan wars and stuff like that. And just put it in, not Afghanistan war, uh, Afghan war. Anyway, whatever the point is, is that they take all the events of like real life and they incorporate in the game. Hence the, the uh, title, Modern Warfare. So at the time it wasn't modern. But the point is, is that this is coming this year and I'm so stoked because... This is the greatest Call of Duty of all time. And um, I consider this Call of Duty and um, Black Ops 1, the first one. The rest is, is just mediocre or a subpar to me. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. I'm sorry if I offend you. What? You, you thought Modern Warfare 2 was uh, mediocre? Screw you. Well, it is to me, so too bad. Anyway, so COD 4, I am so stoked for this. If they officially, and no doubt about it, it's practically confirmed, but this indeed is true. I promise to God, you will not be seeing me play any other COD except for Advanced Warfare. But I'll be playing Modern Warfare all day. And uh, no doubt it's coming to PC. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Maybe they probably won't remaster on PC. I think what um, uh, 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 Activision is probably going to do on Steam is that they're probably going to give us uh, inf Infinite Warfare. And then what they're going to do is um, give us... Uh, uh, like a free copy of Modern Warfare to play on, on PC, you know what I'm saying? And I know a lot, uh, uh, you know, they're not going to just do them work, the, work the ground up all over again. They're going to do this for consoles. But um, I'm going to be picking this up for consoles anyway. The reason why is because the community of COD is very low, you know what I'm saying? And unless this game, you know, just remaster, supposedly speaking, uh, has dedicated servers, then it is what it is. But until then, um, it's officially, I'm picking this up for PS4. Um, and uh, I don't, I, if you click this fly here, if I can see it, it says, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster contains only 10 multiplayer maps from the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare game. For more information, please visit Call of Duty, blah, blah, blah. Standard Edition is $79.99, and our reason why it's $79.99. Oh, whatever. Why is it $79.99? That's interesting. Okay, and uh, the Legacy, and this is probably Europe for, for all we know. It's probably Europe. And uh, <laughs> they always pay high prices. Or Canada. Ooh, sorry. Uh, and Legacy Collection includes Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster, a dollar, a hundred and nine dollars ninety nine cents, and it tells you right here, campaign plus ten maps and so forth. So yeah, this is standard edition plus that. By promise to God, I will, I repeat, I will buy this. And if we can actually buy this separately, uh, then that'll be cool. But it looks like probably Activision is going to probably make us pay the full game. But you would not believe it, I would actually buy this. But enough of this, this futuristic stuff has got to stop. But anyway, that's enough for today. Uh, I just want to remind you guys. A lot of anniversaries are coming this year, uh, but again, next year was actually called uh, an anniversary. And I noticed a lot of games that have anniversaries this year, uh, they're starting to come out a year er uh, early. You know what I'm saying? So like Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, the full version with all the so-called episodic thing going on right now, uh, that should uh, not be finished in 2018. And that should be the year Kingdom Hearts 3 drops, for example. And I'm telling you guys, Kingdom Hearts 3 fans... Calm down. So, uh, I wanted to actually uh, bring us something that's very interesting here, and that is the 20th anniversary for Crash Bandicoot. That's right. 
This year, if you look at the top page here, uh, this is RedBull.com. It basically says the big uh, video game anniversaries of 2016. Let me go back down. Crash Bandicoot. 20th anniversary. Now, when it comes to the double digits, and they're perfectly even anywhere to zero, 20th uh, anniversary, 30th anniversary, usually hear something good about these games. Metroid, I'm sorry, not Metroid, uh, Zelda is having a 30th anniversary, which is why you're going to see a huge amount of Zelda at this year's E3. Just like last year, was what Mario's 30th anniversary, I think, right? If I'm if I'm not mistaken, 30th anniversary for Mario's last year was Super Mario Maker, right? So these double digit anniversary Street Fighter, you know, we see it all the time. We see something kind of big coming up, and we've been hearing constantly Crash Bandicoot coming this year, coming this year, coming this year. It seems like Crash Bandicoot has the potential to come at this year's E3. If Sony drops Crash Bandicoot at this year's E3. They already won E3. Now, we already know Sony won E3 before they started, but they got to come out out the gate and drop them bombs on the Sony fans out there. PlayStation Master Race. And Crash Bandicoot would be absolutely amazing. So I'm telling you. So, folks, this is what is absolutely amazing. I'm telling you. So this is something that you guys got to check out. All the anniversaries of all the games coming out. All the things like Just Cause, Dark Souls is 5. You know what I'm saying? Just check it out. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of anniversaries for a lot of games. We know Metroid is 30. Metroid is 30. So, I mean, you know I'm saying I mean, I mean nothing. Devil May Cry 15. A lot of these franchises we love so much. Golden Sun, they have a lot of anniversaries. So it is what it is. So it is what it is. And the last thing I want to check out for you guys and actually click this link here, and that is Battlefield 5 World Premiere scheduled for May 6th. So I've said in, in the comments section that for me, I wanted to be bad Battlefield Bad Company 3. <laughs> The Battlefield Bad Company 3 or Get Out. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want for Battlefield. You know what I'm saying? A lot of Battlefield fans will tell you Battlefield Bad Company is one of the greatest Battlefield series. You know what I'm saying? But I also love Battlefield 2 on the PC uh, back then, so it was very it was very fun. But uh, Battlefield Bad Company 3, I want that. But Battlefield 5 world premiere, and we're going to see if it's going to be uh, the future of Battlefield. So seven days, two hours, 51 minutes, and 21 seconds at the time this was posted. So this was... What? Uh, I'm going to forget. Today's the, the 29th, the 30th. I always forget. Anyway, so this is freaking awesome. And uh, this is basically the information I had to bring you guys to your attention. It seems like I'm, I'm the newscaster now, so I'm making great quality videos. Tell me about the quality videos. I'm using NVIDIA Shadow Play. So, again, Call of Duty Warfare, uh, Infinite Warfare coming uh, November uh, 4th, 2016, supposedly speaking, along with Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remaster. I promise to God, if it's remastered, you will not see me on another COD for the rest of my life. I'm not lying to you of course if if, uh, if it's forcefully bundled with infinite warfare then this and if this is the case then this will be the last cod i will support in, in its full price form because i'm buying it just for cod 4 rematch i'm sorry just cod 4 is the greatest game of all time i don't want i don't have a uh, time to thoroughly give you why cod 4 is the best button but it just had about best it had the best campaign i mean for story-based campaign i mean the campaign was good you know what i'm saying most COD fans will tell you that Modern Warfare had the best campaign. And because most COD fans are just playing the multiplayer. But it had the best campaign of all the COD series. Period. Hands down. Black Ops series, garbage. You know what I'm saying? The old school World War uh, campaigns were great. Absolutely. No, no, no doubt about it. But COD 4 just destroyed it so well. Actors were great. Game was difficult playing on veteran. Good times playing COD 4. And I, people are still playing it on the PC 360 and the PlayStation 3. So we would need to have this remaster. This is a, a good example of a remaster we need. Okay, I'm not a huge COD fan, but this is I, I would love this. So uh, thank you guys for that. And also Battlefield World Premiere. And, of course, the 20th anniversary of Crash Bandicoot is something you guys need to check out for yourself. So this is Daft about signing out. And, um, hey, look who it is, man. Hey. So if you guys, you have a great day. And peace out.